So we are going to see how a human karyotype is obtained. Okay, we start with the mother. Okay, releasing an egg cell, and your father releasing a sperm cell. Okay, this is an egg cell or ovum from your mother. This is an haploid cell. Okay, haploid, meaning the egg cell has got only one set of chromosomes. So you have 23 chromosomes in the egg cell. And this is a sperm cell from the father, which is also haploid. Okay, haploid means the sperm cell has got only one set of chromosomes. So you have 23 chromosomes as well for the sperm cell. So the egg cell or ovum and sperm cell are all known as gametes. Gametes are haploid. Okay, haploid means they've got only one set of chromosomes. This is why they have 23 chromosomes. Okay, so among the 23 chromosomes of the egg cell, you have a special chromosome known as the X chromosome. And for the sperm cell among the 23 chromosomes, you can have a special chromosome known as X or known as Y. It will depend on the sperm cell released. You can have a sperm cell with X or a sperm cell with Y. Okay, remember, many sperm cells are released. Okay, so when the egg cell from the mother and the sperm cell from the father, when they fuse, a fertilized egg is produced, which is known as a zygote. A zygote is diploid, which means a zygote has got two sets of chromosomes, one from the mother, one from the father. So a zygote has got 46 chromosomes. You can have this or this, depending on which sperm cell fuses with the egg cell. So the mother can only give X and the father can give X or Y. Okay, you understand the biological sex of the child is determined by the father. The father can give X or Y. If the father gives X, you are going to have a girl. If the father gives Y, you are going to have a boy. So the zygote, which is a fertilized egg, it's going to go through cellular division until you have a human. In the human, in each somatic cell, when you take the karyotype of each somatic cell, for the female, you are going to have this. You have 46 chromosomes, which is 23 pairs. And for the male, in each somatic cell, this is the karyotype that you are going to get, okay, for the male. So you can see the difference when you compare the sex chromosomes. These are known as sex chromosomes, okay. For the female, you are going to have X and X. For the male, you are going to have X and Y, okay. The X chromosome is longer than the Y chromosome. The Y chromosome is shorter than the X chromosome. Okay, so the rest of the chromosomes are known as autosomes. You have 22 pairs or 44 autosomes. Even for the male, you have 22 pairs of autosomes or 44 autosomes. Okay, these are known as sex chromosomes or gonosomes okay so somatic cells are all the cells in the body except the egg cells and sperm cells these are known as gametes okay